area. Now, will that allow you to let more people in if they had an issue? Yes, so now we have two attendees. And You don't see Tracy and Shannon, huh? I sent them an email. Well, they're on. I, I can make them panelists if you want. Oh, yeah, I think uh, I would say, yeah. Oh, good. There's Jordan. Do you want everyone to be a panelist? Here's Jordan. Good. I am here. Can you hear me? Uh, would you, were you normally going to wait until the closed session? Is that what you were going to do? Yes, but you could go ahead. I think it's okay. Okay. There we go. Can you tell if we have anybody else joining us? So attendees so far is Diana and and Mitch. Okay, great. All right. Well, good morning, everybody. Sinead, do you want to go ahead and call the open session uh, to order? Yes. Thank you. Can everyone hear me pretty good? Thank yes. you. Yes. Uh, today's date is August the 13th, 2020. The time is now 10.48 a.m. Open session is called to order. The quorum is present. Is there public comments. You don't see anybody right now? No hands raised and the only attendees again are Diana and Manny. Okay, great. Thank you. Okay, seeing none. Um, I have no uh, report to give. So now we will go uh, Lori, can you please give your director's report? Yes. Thank you. So uh, I just want to start off. Um, I'm going to go a little out of order and start out with uh, acknowledging that this is Shanae and Cynthia's uh, last meeting. And uh, we've been so happy to have you on the commission. You've been such um, excellent commission members. And uh, personally, also, we've enjoyed working with you and getting to know you. And um, I think I can speak for all of us that we're going to miss having you on our commission and uh, getting to work with you. I just want to show you, we'll be sending you, we have um, some nice, a nice certificate for each of you, Shanae's, thanking you for your service. Hey, okay, thank you. Yay. And for yeah. Cynthia, thank you, Cynthia, thank for your you. service. We'll be sending these out to you. Thank you. Um, like I said, I know it's especially Cynthia, you you filled in part of another term and then uh, then had a full term and Shanae, you stayed on to extra to be our chair and we really appreciate your dedication to this. And um, like I said before, you may not uh, miss the big giant boxes of materials, but uh, <laughs> I think you'll miss us. So I will. Yes. <laughs> it's been very nice working with both of you. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Same here. Same here. Thank you guys. Um, Along with that, we did have our, um, the Board of Trustees approved the new officers and new members that we recommended. So at their July board meeting, uh, they approved the, that Robert Bowman will be our new chair and Jordan Wright will be our new vice chair. And Melanie O'Day will be our new attorney member and Joseph Domino will be our new public member. And they will be officially um, adopted after the September board meeting. So they'll be able to attend our October meeting. So we'll be in the process of contacting them. They know that they've been chosen. And then other than that, we'll be in the process of uh, getting them some orientation materials and making sure that they understand how the commission works. 
Um, I'm looking forward to um, getting them up to speed on the commission and welcoming them to our group. In terms of our statistics, uh, we have um, received 305 new applications this year. Um, so we're, we're not getting a lot of new applications every month. Um, I don't know if that's good that uh, lawyers aren't stealing or if it's hiding that there's some underlying uh, scandal that hasn't come up yet. But uh, I'm always afraid that there's somebody out there, you know, advertising like, you know, give me your stimulus check and I'll double it for you or something, mm. you know, who knows what could be going on that will be uncovered in the future. And of course, if there's going to be a recession, we have to worry about another loan mod uh, type of situation. So we'll see what happens in the future. But for now, we're, we don't have too many new applications coming in. We're working through our budget for the year. Um, so we have um, paid 456 applications already this year. We've paid over 5.7 million. Our goal is to pay about a million a month. So this was through July. So we're actually a, a little bit behind on what we were hoping, but we have a, a lot in the works, uh, both on this calendar that will end up being paid and, and new ones that we're serving. So I think that we're on a good track to um, pay out our goal, this, our goal this year of around 13 million. Um, at the very least, we want to make sure we have those in process ready to be paid in January if everything is not actually you know, done and, and closed by the end of the year. And of course, that assumes that we find all good cases that, that uh, qualify for reimbursement, right? We have to obviously make sure that these are cases that are supposed to be paid. So we're working through the inventory. Everybody's working really hard trying to go through all the cases that are assigned to them and get these cases moving so that we can reimburse as much as possible this year on the qualified matters. I did want to give a brief update on um, bar-wide news. I mentioned it to Shanae a little bit before that um, the Leah Wilson, who was the executive director, um, resigned at the end of last year. And so Donna Hershkowitz has been filling in as the interim. Um, she's, I think, done a really good job for all of us. Uh, she really has tried to consider the needs of staff during this pandemic while still making sure that we're accomplishing our public protection goals. Uh, almost everybody is working from home and she's um, made sure that everybody has the tools they need to do that. Um, we're coming in now about one day a week to make sure that we're getting things done in the office that have to be done in the office. Um, they're keeping the capacity of the building to about 30%. Um, most days I see maybe one other person if I do come in. I think that's true of everybody pretty much. Um, but Donna decided not to throw her hat in the ring to be the executive director. So uh, the board, I know, has been interviewing candidates, and I think they might have a, a meeting coming up next week or so. Uh, that I think that's uh, uh, the only item on the agenda, and the anticipation is that we'll have somebody maybe by September or, or the end of September. So I will keep you posted on any information we find out about who a new executive director coming in is going to be. Uh, the bar is really, I don't know if you follow the board meetings, they've really been trying to look at issues of um, diversity and avoiding bias in the discipline system here. Um, and I think that's probably going to be one of the key initiatives that a new executive director will be tackling. So I'll be um, interested to see who they choose and what direction that person decides to take the bar in. Um, I don't think I have anything else. Matt, do you have anything in particular you'd like to address um, about the fund? Or staff or anything else? Uh, actually, no, I don't have anything this month. Okay, thank you. And Newton, I don't think we have any ABA updates. Is there anything of interest that is happening sort of remotely that people might want to attend or has that been pretty quiet? It's um, been pretty quiet. They just wrapped up their annual meeting. So uh, there's been a big focus around there and the we haven't started talking about planning for our, our next meeting next year, but it seems to me that we'll probably be doing a lot of webinars as well. Okay. Well, thank you. I know it was supposed to be in Denver next year, but I guess we'll see what happens. All right. Okay. Um, thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Lori, very much.
Okay. Um, yes. Uh, has everyone had a chance to review the open session meeting minutes uh, from May 28, 2020? Yes. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Is there a motion to improve the open meeting minutes of May 28, 2020? Yes, I make that motion. Thank you, Bob. Is there a second? I'll I second it. Thank you, Jordan. Uh, any discussion? Any discussion? Shanae, okay, I nope. think we need to have Betty uh, call the rolls uh, since okay. we're doing this remote. So, Betty, if you could do that. Those in favor? Um, Shanae Buffington. Yes. Robert Bowman. Yes. Douglas Hassel. Douglas Hassel. He's on mute, but I think he's, uh, there we go. I'm unmuting, yes. Thank you. That's everyone? Did you get Betty? to? I didn't hear Jordan. Betty, Jordan writes a yes. I didn't hear Cynthia. I didn't hear Cynthia either. Did we lose Betty there? Uh, Right, I cannot hear Betty. Yeah, me either. Betty? It's weird. Cynthia. Oh, there we go. Here. And did you call Jordan, Betty? Yes. And the Jordan. official? Yes, yes. And Betty, Jordan's a yes. Thank you. Okay, thank you. So we don't have any abstentions, none opposed. The motion is carried. Um, is there any other business? Okay, seeing none, open session is adjourned at 10.58 a.m. Okay. Now we'll go on to closed session. Uh, today's date is um, August 13, 2020. Well, we're going to go into closed in the second link that we have. Right. We actually have to leave this one because other people could join. So we okay. have to leave and log in again on the other link, right, Newton? Uh, yes. Okay. Thank you. All right. We'll see everybody again in a minute.